what we have here are scores and we have it for the term fall 2020 to 2021. And this is great. If I scroll all the way down, we have all these scores for the fall term. Now, what if I wanted to have show some growth in my sample data set? Well, I have one set of scores, but I want to have something that would resemble what would possibly be some scores that these students might get if they took the assessment again in the spring. So let me show you how I adjust this to keep the integrity of the data, but to show a sample data set with growth. What I do is I will come up and I will highlight all of my data here. And then I will copy this, so Command C. Then I'm just going to leave a blank row here just so you can see where the difference is. And I'm going to do Command V. And I've pasted all of that in. So right now it's exactly the same. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change the fall scores to spring. Okay, so if I highlight this, and I'll go ahead and just delete that. So I'll just type in spring 2020 to 2021, press return, and I will copy this, Command C, and I will go ahead and scroll down until I get to the bottom of my data set here. I'm just going to paste that in. Now let's go ahead and take a look at these scores and make some adjustments so that we can show growth. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to delete these scores here because these are the exact same scores from the first set, from the fall set. So what I want to do is I want to create a number in here for Ben Reyes that is similar. If we go all the way up to Ben Reyes here, uh, he has 208 for his writ language score. So we want a number that is close to 208, but within a reasonable range. So we're going to use a, a rand between formula that is nested inside of another rand between formula. So let me explain. So I'm going to type equals rand between. And what I want to do here, so my rand between, I'm going to get a low number and a high number. So let's take a look at what our low number should be. So our low number, we're going to create, I'm going to put another parentheses in here because I want this all to be within, nested within this. So I'm going to come all the way up and I'm going to say, give me a number that's 208 minus, now this is where I'm going to put in my other rand between. So I'm going to say that cell E2 minus rand between a number that is between 1 and 10. 1 in 10 less than 208. Okay, that's my low number. Now let's take a look at doing the same thing for our high number. So if I do that, type in double parentheses to keep this all together. And I'm going to say, take a look at the number 208 again, E2. And now I want a bigger number. So I'm going to do plus, ran between. And I will also want that to be a random number somewhere between 1 and 10 more than E2. And I'll go ahead and close my parentheses here. And I have a lot of parentheses. If I just press return, Google Sheets says, will recognize how many parentheses I need. And it will go ahead and adjust that for me automatically. So you can see it's assigned the score of 204. And this, so this student has actually had negative growth a little bit, 208, 204. But that is something that could, could be reasonable. Once I have this formula in, all that I need to do, instead of having to do this for every single one of them, all I need to do is drag this across and it will look up in the appropriate row in E. You can see this has changed from E2 to F2, G2, H, I, and J. So those are, those are going to match the, the numbers above, okay, for that student. Then what I can do is go ahead and just highlight those and Put this over my crosshairs, double click, and it will fill in all of those numbers for me, just like that, okay?